Cave and secrets are becoming crazier by the second. Players are finding new secrets each day that passes. That's why in today's video, I uncovered 21 of the coolest secrets around, including new cars, a bunch of new bugs, and tons more. If you aren't living under a rock, you've heard about the update that added classic old cars into Brookhaven. And all the cars in the update can actually be found in real life. For an example, let's look at this one. The name of this car is the Lamborghini Polo Storico. The name is as long as the absurd price this one can go for. You'd be able to find one of these in real life if anyone's willing to spend $900,000, which is practically the same price you can get for three regular Lamborghinis. And it's also for sure one of the prettiest cars we got on this update. This one you've surely known for a while and seen around somewhere. It's the old Beetle. It's a car that's been widely known but became very famous around Brazil, but with the name of Fusca. Nowadays, you can find people that even made collections of cars like these. The coolest thing about these classic cars is how easily you're able to modify each of them. For example, this one right here, which is quite an old and well-used family car. We'll start by giving it a very nice red color. Then we can get something like a spoiler on its back. Let me just add a few little nice details. Just look at how it looks now. It surely looks a whole lot better than before. I was strolling around in my car when suddenly this girl showed up. What does she want? Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you love your parents. If you don't, just ignore any of this. That girl was surely weird, but please leave your like and subscribe. It always helps me out a ton. Some time ago, I posted this video showing the best Brookhaven copy, which is a game really similar to Brookhaven. As you can see, there's a bunch of stuff that resembles the game we all know and love. At that time, I showed you guys the game, but I still haven't shown just how realistic that one is. I'm already inside the game, and a large coincidence, or maybe not, that we have is this fountain at spawn, which of course reminds you of Brookhaven straight away. Oh, looks like Bacon's right here. What's up, dude? What's up, Nando? Come test out just how realistic this game is with me. We can start by grabbing a car. Yeah. This one works. Wait, this is just like Brookhaven. But if we put them side by side, we're able to see that the copy beats the original in its realism. Hop onto my Jeep Bacon and we'll uncover just how realistic this city is. Something I didn't show in the video is that we can knock these light posts down, which is really realistic. They have gravity and all that. They even knock my car around a bit as they do. Whoa! And there goes that sign. I'll just knock this all down. It's all going in the trash. What about this tree? Oh, that one's invisible. Hey, Nando, this car is also from Brookhaven. Are you serious? Good thing you noticed. Of course, we can find this one in Brookhaven. This is the Ferrari we can find over there. With them side by side, this one's still more realistic. In in all honesty, regular Brookhaven is still better than this copy. If we look around the houses, we'll see that they're very much alike the ones in Brookhaven. Of course, they're a lot more realistic, like this TV where there's actually moving pictures, like a cooking show, a dancing one. There's a lot of cool stuff around here. Not only that, but we can do a lot with these tablets we have. We can actually change the screen for YouTube, Twitter, some games, or a hack screen. Oh gosh, if you want to know anything else, I've made a video about this one before. Just Let's go there and see. In this video, they show a way to troll players around Brookhaven, which is by putting safes on top of other players. Whenever you do that, they'll be stuck inside and will never be able to get out. This is crazy. If that actually works, it'll be really funny. I logged into a public server. There's a player right here so I can test it out on her. We need to go over to the props. Go over to the money and grab the safe from there. Now we should just be able to put it on top of her. Oh, I missed. Let's try with this other girl. In theory, she's stuck in there. Maybe not. Let me do that again. Maybe then it'll work. Will she be able to get out of there? It shouldn't be possible. Wait, she got out. Would I be able to get myself stuck? I guess the prop's been updated, and it now doesn't have any collision, so we won't be able to get stuck inside of it. It has probably been removed some time ago by now. But something that's never gonna get old is grabbing players with the stretcher. Because if we do this, and then jump with them on the diving board, there's a chance we'll be able to throw them all the way out of the map. This time, we both ended up out of the map, but I'll let him be the first. In this video, he wants to show us a secret passage we can find in the yellow house. He first goes over to the pool right at the bottom of it. Puts a sleeping back on that corner and lies on it. After that, he finds himself in this whole other secret room. Huh? That's so bizarre. Let's try it out. Here's the yellow house that he was talking about. Wait, is that bacon? I challenge you to steal my safe. Stop joking around. I know this place doesn't have a safe. I'll just keep going. We need to go to this corner of the pool and place the sleeping bag right there. As we lie down on it, we'll find ourselves on the other side in this weird room. It's bizarre. It's a dark room with really nothing
something interesting in it. If you watch my videos, you've seen me show this off before. But there's actually another secret passage hidden down here that I've never shown. You can see it right there. And I think there's only one way we can go over there. For that, we need to go into the library and then into this secret room. Then in this place, we grab the notebook because we need to sit down on each of these chairs while holding it in our hands to use the secret passage. That should be it. Now we can click this button here. Just need to jump down here into this room with another notebook. We can also click it and it'll make a strange sound if we go over to the police station and grab the helicopter. Actually, why don't we grab a jet to do this? It's so much faster. We go down beneath the map and now we need to find where that house is, which should be this one right here. Let's park it right over here. A ladder needs to be placed on that wall. Maybe even a sleeping bag, but I'm having a hard time doing that. I got some props into it so we can sit there. Now we make our jump. That worked out nicely. This is strange. I'm very close to the void, so I need to be careful. I should be able to put the sleeping bag here now. I think so at least. Looks like I bugged myself about what I needed. If we place a sleeping bag right here, where will we end up? By what it looks like. I ended up in a very weird spot. Apparently a whole other secret area that has nothing to do with the one I wanted. I guess we at least found a whole new secret room. Look at Bacon. Did he buy VIP? He has a bunch of particles following him around. I didn't know he had money to do something like that. Did you buy VIP Bacon? Not at all, Nando. It's a secret ID. Wait, what do you mean by a secret ID? Let me send it to you. Apparently, all we need to do to get it is input it right here. That's actually so cool. We would only be able to get something like this if we bought VIP for 99 Robux. Well, it's really 999. Let me show you the paid one. This is the closest we have. Look at that. It's literally the same as the secret ID. You can surely make people think you have the game pass. I've heard that there's a Brookhaven house that lets you launch missiles. In this case, we'll be using this one right here. This is the submarine house. I remember when it was added. That was a long time ago. To launch the missiles, we need to click these buttons right here. After doing that, we need to click this one and let's have a look. Dude, we actually just shot a missile into the air. That's so awesome. Beyond that, this place hides a big secret that most people don't know about. I remember showing it a while ago, but here's the sitch. If this house is ever on fire, it won't just look like regular fire. It's a lot different. This part surely looks normal, but you'll see that this one actually has green fire coming out. You can also find this green fire in the VIP game pass. Here it is if you want to see. It's not exactly like the fire in the submarine, but it kind of resembles it a bit. If you're a Brookhaven player, you already know about all these animations. For the secret animation I'm going to show, we'll need a gun. We can use any of them. This is the one I chose. To do this secret animation, we just need to do this right quick, which is getting it from the inventory and removing it at the same time. Whenever you get it right, you'll see. Look at that. We're now with that secret animation. It's like I was holding a gun, but this one's invisible. We can also mix it with other animations and it'll kind of look like I'm in handcuffs. The Halloween house holds quite a large secret. It may not look like it, but this spooky place actually hides some scary stuff. Or not, since these lights make it a whole less spooky. But in this bedroom, you can find a room where you can find this black book, as well as a paper from the agency. There's actually a way to activate a secret code right there. For now, nothing is written there, but we'll do some stuff for it to appear. First thing we need to do is go to the second floor of the hospital. Click on the agency paper that's on this table. Then we go to the library and grab the red book that's hidden up here, which I'm sure you're tired of hearing about. After grabbing that, we can go back into the house. There's some really weird sounds around here as well. Kind of like I'm not alone here anymore. Is anyone there? Oh gosh, is that a ghost? What am I even gonna do? Let me grab my ghost detector. Where did you go, ghost? Are you still here? Doesn't look like it. She's right there again, and she disappeared again. Let's just make our way upstairs so we can go down into that room and see that code. Or maybe not. Whoa! The ghost is right here now. Get away from me. Maybe I need to click on the black book then? I don't know anymore. I heard a sound. Oh no. The ghost is here again. But by the looks of it, the code finally showed up. Is this thing right here? I'm really not sure what it means, but it's still a secret message. Maybe some smart people can figure it out. Let me run away from here. I'm getting chills. So that's gonna be it. Please leave your like and subscribe to the channel for even more. You should also go follow my Roblox profile. It's at NandoYT. Just click the three little dots and then the follow button and you'll be able to come play with me in any public game I'll be in. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. They're so much fun. Thank you for watching. See you later. Have a good one.